Just this week, someone on Facebook asked me how it is I'm able to write 10 books a year. And I thought, that's a great question for a video. So today, I want to talk about how is it that I can write books so quickly, or to put it another way, how long should a ghostwriter take to finish your project? Okay, so as I mentioned in the start of this video, I average around 10 books a year, uh, meaning that I finish roughly one first draft every month. That's something that blows a lot of people's minds because the average person can't imagine finishing a whole book or at least a draft of a whole book in a one month period. So today I wanted to explain how I do that. So the first thing I wanna do is clarify that I average one first draft around every five weeks. So that's a complete draft of a book, not a finished book in just over a month. With that out of the way, there's a few things you should know that make the math easier to understand. Uh, the first is that most of my books, being coaches, consultants, trainers, um, those sorts of folks, aren't writing long books. They're writing short business books. So the average book that I work on might fit in around 30 to 50,000 words. Okay, so taking 40,000 words or so as an example, let's look at my schedule. Most days, I'm up around 5 and at my desk around 6. And then from there, I might write until somewhere between 10 and noon. So that gives me a solid four to six hours per day just to write. Now again, that doesn't include interviewing time. That's just me sitting at my desk, writing, revising, editing, and generally putting pages together. So if you average those two together, you find that I have to generate around a thousand words a day. And that comes to around two single spaced pages, which seems like a lot, especially if you're not used to writing, but isn't a ton if you do it every day and have four to six hours to complete the job. Also working in my favor is the fact that by the time clients come to me, or by the time we start working together, they've got ideas that are, that are pretty well flushed out. So I'm not thinking of things from scratch. I'm interviewing my clients for an hour or two hours a day, and then taking what they've told me, the outlines that they've already generated, and turning those into completed draft pages. That's important to recognize because the hard part about writing a book is gathering all the knowledge that has to go into the book. So in effect, my clients have done the hard work for me. They might have been thinking or testing, thinking about the ideas in their minds or testing the concepts for five years, 10 years, even 20 years by the time I meet them. Then I just have to have them tell me about what they have on their minds and I can translate that into a finished first draft. Another thing I have working in my favor is that most of my clients come to me through referrals. So that means that if I work with one sales trainer, I might work with 10 other sales trainer. And it just so happens that I began my career in sales. So a lot of the topics and themes that come my way are pretty familiar to me. I don't have to spend a lot of time getting used to basic concepts. So when you combine the fact that clients come to me with the knowledge already in their minds, and I come to them with a kind of base understanding of their job or their viewpoint, then you start to see that that two pages a day isn't quite so overwhelming. Now, those factors alone would speed me up quite a bit. Not only do I have four to six hours a day to write and edit, but I have people coming to me with ideas that are ready to be put into a book format, so I don't have to start from scratch. However, those aren't the only advantages I have in my corner. Uh, behind the scenes, I also use dictating software. I have templates set up to help me organize uh, my writing and revise it. I'll spend money on keyboards, microphones, software, anything that will help me do my job more efficiently. Do those things make the difference in the end? Probably not, but they do allow me to start and finish a first draft of a book uh, much more quickly than the average person might. Of course, at some point, you also have to factor in experience. Uh, because I've written 200 or more books, I've lost count at this point, um, I, I'm kind of familiar with the process. It's, it's a little bit easier for me to break ideas down and approach a project piece by piece instead of being overwhelmed by all the different parts. And finally, I want to point out that I actually have a team of outsourced proofreaders who back me up. So not only do I have time to write every day, but I also have other professionals who can double check uh, typos and you know, problems with flow, things like that. And so I have a little bit of a safety net as I move from one page or chapter to the next where, where other people are backing me up. So why would any of this matter to you? 
Well, that's a good question. Uh, there's really two ways that this might factor into your thinking if you're someone who's looking to complete a book project. Uh, the first is that by working with a professional ghostwriter, you can probably get from where you are to a finished manuscript much, much faster. And the second has to do with time. I mentioned this before, but I average one book first draft around every five weeks. Now keep in mind that is not a completed book. What will normally happen after that is that I'll get together with my client, we'll review, we'll edit, we'll work on things like book covers and acknowledgements and all these little details. And that can easily take another month or two to get from where we have a finished manuscript to an actual printed book that's in their hands. So if you were looking at this video wondering, hey, if I hire a ghostwriter, how long will it take to finish the project? I would say a good estimate is two to three months if they're experienced. However, that's just a guideline. I want you to remember that if your book is longer, if it requires intensive interviews, uh, if, if you yourself have scheduling constraints, then you might push that time frame out quite a bit farther. Really, there's no set amount of time for how long a book should take to write and finish. Uh, for me, being a professional who's paid to do this, obviously I keep one eye on my calendar because time is money and because my clients pay me because they want finished results faster. However, if it takes you longer to finish your book or if you're working with someone who needs three to six months and they're the right fit, I say go for it. So I hope you found this video helpful and that it gave you a little bit of insight on why it is I'm able to write books more quickly than other people and also how long it should take a ghostwriter to finish your project. If you have other questions about the ghostwriting process, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment below and I'll see if I can address it in a future video or check me out on Facebook and feel free to message me there. And of course, if you're thinking about hiring a ghostwriter for your book project, uh, I'd encourage you to check out my website at ghostwritermat.com. Thanks for watching.